Hello everyone, welcome to a Sunday afternoon pour. I am Brian, thanks for coming back. Uh, I just realized the other day that I haven't ever tried a marble pour. And so I've watched Mina's pours. Uh, B.R. Turner is really great at doing these marble pours. And so I thought, you know what, let's give it a try. So I got a little smaller canvas. I'm gonna play out with some colors that I've got left over over here from another pour. So I figured I'd thicken them up a little bit because I think you want a little bit thicker consistency with the marble pour. So I'm gonna thick them up, thicken them up a little bit with some uh, mixed pour and then we'll get started. Also, today is the last day for my Facebook auction. It closes at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if there's any pieces over there that you've got your eyes on, make sure you head over there, put your bids in before they close. All right, so let's get down on the canvas and we'll get started on this painting. I'll be right back. So like I said, I am going to be doing an experiment for myself because I've never done a marble pour. And so I've got some leftover paints from previous pours. I want to see if that's gonna work. So I got a little 12 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna puddle pour the paints onto the canvas and then surround it with flow extender of white. And then I'm gonna use this marble to roll it around through the paints. Woo. Apparently I'm gonna throw the marble around. So I've got a really deep, kind of a grayish blue here. I've got a nice pretty green, 24 karat gold. A really pretty pinkish color here. And a purple and these paints are mostly creative inspirations I'll put the colors down in the description box like I always do leftover red and then I've got a blue these little uh, jars you can get from Michaels for 99 cents I put a lot of my leftover paint in there okay so let's let's see we've got a 24 inch canvas so I figure if I could do maybe do four puddles Let's see what that one looks like. That should be good. Put some white around this so that the marble will have something to bring some white into. Also, we've got flow extender for this paint to move. <laughs> 
So I really want to keep you guys in the camera here with the canvas going vertical like this. So I'm going to do my best. Right, so I'm going to place the marble here and we'll get started. torch. All right, we're going to give this a stretch.
Not bad for a first marble pour. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is make sure my paints are thicker. They were a little runny, so trial and error. So let's clean up the edges, get the corners, torch. Make sure there's nothing else in these paints. Had some goobers in there, which don't want goobers in the paint. Here we go. This is giving me some serious 70s vibes. I'm loving it. All right, we'll see how this dries. Be right back. All right, here's the dried result. Check it out, really cool. I love all these colors. I like the craziness that the marble creates, so I definitely will be doing some of these pours in the future. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's painting. That's a uh, quick video today. It's not a long one because it's such a small canvas, but it dried fantastic. I love it. This gold is really great here, this purple color. Everything just dried really, really nice. I love it. Um, I will definitely be playing with those a little more often because they're a lot of fun. Maybe on a bigger canvas, we'll see. Again, don't forget, today, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the auction closes, so if you've got your eyes on some pieces, now's the time to get over there and put those bids in. All right, everyone, I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.